On May 28th, China launched its first ever space mission to retrieve pristine samples from an asteroid called 469219 Camo Oleva, which orbits the Sun at a distance relatively close to Earth. China's Tianwen 2 robotic probe was launched on board the Long March 3B rocket a few days back from the Xichang Satellite Launch Center. Hi, my name is Soumya Pillai. And in this episode of Pure Science, we will take a deep dive into the mission, the technology and the significance of the samples collected. To start off, if China succeeds in this mission, it will join a small pool of only two other countries that have managed to sample asteroids and return the samples to Earth successfully. Before China, only Japan and the US have managed this scientific feat. In 2010, Japan became the first country to undertake such a mission by fetching samples from a small asteroid with its Hayabusa rocket. Japan continued its pursuit again in 2019 with the Ryugu mission. In 2020, the United States launched the OSIRIS-REx asteroid retrieval mission, which brought back samples from the asteroid Bennu. Now coming to why China chose Kamo-Leva asteroid. Kamo-Leva was discovered in 2016 by the PanStars-1 asteroid surveys telescope on Halekala in Hawaii. Its size ranges between 120 and 300 feet, which comes to about 40 to 100 meters. This is one of the seven asteroids that fall in the category known as quasi-satellites of Earth. Quasi-satellites are basically bodies that orbit the Sun, but because of their closeness to Earth, they are gravitationally influenced by the planet. For instance, from Earth's perspective, the asteroid appears to orbit Earth like the Moon, but in reality, it is orbiting the Sun on a very similar path to Earth. Now, another interesting fact about the asteroid is that quasi-satellites in general are known to shift their orbits over a period of time. In Kamo Oleva's case, it had shifted its orbit about 100 years ago. It is expected to remain in its current orbit for the next 300 years before it makes a possible shift again. In this mission, China's Tianwen-2 will approach Kamo Oleva, which is also known as 2016 HO3 over the next year. The spacecraft is scheduled to arrive on the asteroid by July 2026. It will then shoot the capsule with rock samples back to Earth for a landing in November 2027. People's Daily, which is a state-run Chinese newspaper, said that the mission is an endeavor to shed light on the formation and evolution of the asteroids and the early solar system. During its course, the mission will not only collect samples from the near-Earth Kamo Oleva, but will also explore the main belt comet 311P. The process of sample collection will employ a touch-and-go technique, which was also the approach used by the US in its Osirix-Rex mission and by Japan in its Hayabusa 2 mission. In this technique, a spacecraft hovers close to the surface of the asteroid and during this time, a robotic arm fires an object or a burst of gas to knock fragments into a collection chamber. The Chinese Space Agency has said that if conditions permit, Tianwen-2 might also experiment with the anchor and attach technique where four robotic arms extend and drill into the surface of the asteroid to retrieve samples. The mission will also measure the physical parameters of the two celestial targets, including their orbital dynamics, rotation, size, shape and thermal properties. The samples brought back will be used to determine aspects including physical properties, structure and chemical, and mineral composition of the asteroids. Kamo Oleva has caught the attention of the scientific community because of its unusual orbit and mystery around its origin. These samples may hold some key insights into how quasi-satellites were formed and how their orbits evolved. Researchers have indicated that Kamo Oleva was probably the first known asteroid composed of lunar material. 
There is also a hypothesis that Kamo Leva is a small remnant of a possible collision between Earth and another small planet. A segment of the scientific community also believes that the moon was also formed as a result of this collision. So there are a lot of theories that could be cleared by studying this asteroid in detail. But the process is not going to be easy. Since the asteroid in question is pretty small in size, unlike most others that have been studied so far, the process of sample collection itself will be challenging. The equipment, including the craft's control systems and cameras, has to be extremely sophisticated to pull off this mission. We will have to wait and watch the results. That was all from me. I am Soumya Pillai and you were watching Pure Science.